Hey guys, today I'm going to review LEGO Set 70679, The Ultra Dragon. This set was released in January 2019, has 951 pieces, and originally went for $85. First, let's go over the minifigures. The first figure in the set is Lloyd, who was of course not exclusive, being the cheapest set he is in is a polybag. I wish they did a somewhat different variant of them, but it is nice that we get him. The uh, same face print from the Ninjago movie. But in general, it's a nice torso print. I like what they did with them. But I think my favorite part has to be the new mask piece. This is a very good mold, probably the best mask piece they've done. In general, it's just it's a lot like the 2012 one, 2011 one, which I really like how they did that. In general, it's probably just my favorite. But I want to see it with some armor pieces on it. The only thing I don't like is that okay, you really can't put that uh, sword holder armor piece on it. But in general, it's still a good figure. You also get Wu, who comes in the other big Ninjago Legacy set along with a spinner. Um, yeah, I don't think this is exclusive at all. Ooh, nice torso print. Of course, he got the beard. In general, just some nice gold printing on him. You also get Garmadon, who also comes in the $20 spinner set. But he's still an awesome figure. He's very, 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 very similar to the one from, uh, not the same, but similar to 2012 one a lot. I mean, same pieces, just different, uh, face print, which is a nice face print. There's no other face prints to it, but I like the helmet. I like how they use that one again. And in general, they like the use of the katanas. You also have Pyfor, who I wish was exclusive to this set, but he also came in the Jay's Stormfighter set, which is disappointing, but I still like the figure, and it's nice now I have two of him. Uh, of course, I've always loved the original Pyfor minifigure, one of my favorite LEGO minifigures, or just in general, my favorite LEGO minifigure. They just give him the one of the fang blades, which they don't even print on it, which is kind of weird, but I like the printing in general with this one. Lastly, we get these two Venomares, which are in a couple of the other sets. This is Spitta, who also comes in the $30 set, the motorbike one. Um, decent figure, I like the use of the printing, and of course, same leg print used in all of the Venomari. And I like the use of the mold again. Then we have Lasha, who's in two other sets. Um, again, I love the printing, but I wish they did more uh, snakes in general with this, like, sort of just the Venomari. Maybe some uh, Constricti or Hypnobri or Fang Pyre, whatever. But I still like the use of them, I just wish they had more variety snakes, since, you know, none of the figures are exclusive, but they're still pretty decent. Now, the only actual side build to the set is this little turret, which has these nice snake pieces, which are, in the, of course, the color of Pi 4. These are really cool, like how you get four of them in this set. But the only other thing, really, is like the, the unique way they built this little stand. I might do that with some mocks. But mainly, you can just move this up and down, and it shoots out these spring load shooters. You can kind of position it up and down, and then press them. And they will fly out. I like the use of the printing from the... It's not any from the 2012 sets, but it just looks like something that would be in it, which is nice. So here's the main dragon build. Lots and lots of pieces used in this one. First, I'm going to sit all the way down. That you have this little uh, dark green chair with a little rest here. Of course, have this where you can pretend he's uh, driving or riding the dragon. Now, I'll show you the main feature in a second, but I'm going to show you the heads off first, since these are, of course, the main ones. First, I have the lightning dragon, which is, in general, the, with the original set, too, I don't like how the different the colors are different, as I liked how the lightning dragon was blue. Um, didn't really have, it barely had any of translucent yellow, but I still like the use of the heads. And in general, you can open the mouth, and you have two stud shooters. I'm not going to shoot them, because I don't. they fly everywhere. You can post each of the heads, and they each have slightly different builds for the face, for certain parts of it. Like, you can move these little side parts here and move these up and down. The rock monster, uh, not I was supposed to say rock monster, but the rock dragon, or earth dragon. Same thing, two studs on the side, you can move these horns up and down. Of course, move the head too, or the lower jaw. Same thing with the ice dragon, which you can do the same thing. Shoot the studs, and you can move these little horns up here. The only one that doesn't have horns is the earth dragon. The fire dragon, same thing. I like the use of these flames up here. Of course, you can move it down just to shoot the studs. Each of them somewhat have a, yeah, they have each have like a different, uh, front nose or snout piece that they use, and they also have uh, a st one, each of them has a sticker on them. This one is covered up by the lightning, but in general, you can move the heads up and down a little bit, the ball joint, and then each connected on these hinge pieces. I usually have them leveled, so I kind of want to have them at the same somewhat level, and in general, that's how they look. They're very spread out, which I like. So in order to hold the dragon, you have to hold it by this Technic pin. I wish they maybe could have covered this up a little bit, but it's really not that big of a deal. If someone matches, I just wish, you know, I don't know. Uh, also, but the front, you can put a figure here, so you can put a figure up here. 
You can probably put Wu or something. In general, you can also put a figure here or here, really anywhere you felt like if you, you know, a lot of room, probably fit all six Ninja and Wu on here, which is nice. You can move the tail, um, of course, you can swivel it back and forth, and you can, uh, it's used somewhat like the original one, except they use uh, certain pieces for the gears. You can move all of these up and down. These are really nice pieces used in the original set, which I like. Now with the legs, they actually can't move except for the feet. These have claws up here, but they you can't move them around these type pieces here. You can't move them besides the feet, just kind of the little toes or whatever. Kind of disappointing, but in general, it's still all right. I wish if that's probably one of the only faults of the set is that you can't really move the legs, but it's not like you really need to anyways, because it's going to be kind of hard without it falling over. You see this piece here, which kind of covers up the gear. You also have how they did the back, which I like. I like the use of these rock pieces for the scales. And the main feature, of course, is that you can make it look like it's flapping the wings by using these pieces here, which are somewhat like the ball joint type pieces, but smaller and used for the smaller ones like Mixels. So you can make it look like it's flapping, which looks really cool. And of course, you can have it up front like this or have it back down like that. And it also has to maneuver the feet, which is one of the reasons why it isn't on a ball joint. But you can basically make it look like it's flapping, which is really cool. So in general, a great build for the dragon. I like how they improved in the original one. It also would have been cool if they had a little thing for the Great Devourer, but that would probably made this like a $120 set, like the original one. But then again, this one is much cheaper than the original one, yet it has more pieces to it. Overall, this is a pretty good set. I really like how this one remakes the original one, by basically adding on to the original one and making, giving it more bulk, and in general, making it more pieces. The figure selection is pretty great. I just wish that, you know, it was a little more... Is most of these aren't actually, yeah, none of them are exclusive, but still, it's a really good set. I really like the uh, use of the wings especially, and in general, it's just a great remake of a really great Ninjago set in itself. Thank you guys for watching, and bye guys.